Tonight, a second family has positively identified their loved one from among the four youth who were gunned down in Buruburu area on Christmas Eve. It turns out that the two who have so far been identified are cousins named Julius Mwangi and Brian Mwangi, whose identity card was found at the scene of the crime. Their families say their sons are dealers in secondhand clothes and scrap metal in Eastland's area of Nairobi. And as the puzzle continues to unfold, the families are crying for justice. Here's Hassan Mugambi with that report. At Gitaru area of Kiambu County, while most families here are in a holiday celebratory mood, for these two families, their festive mood has been cut short. Instead, their celebration plans have been converted into burial plans. This following the deaths of their sons just a day before Christmas. <laughs> We get to the family of cousins Brian Mwangi and Julius Mwangi. The duo have been positively identified among the four who were in this vehicle when it came under a hail of bullets from unknown assailants in Buruburu area of Nairobi. Brian Mwangi, a father of one and a Mutumba dealer, reportedly left this house on the 23rd of December after dropping his wife and daughter, saying that he would go back to Nairobi and shop to make his daughter's birthday a special occasion. And known to him, that was to be the final goodbye. Yeah, on that Friday, Tokashi and I, the whole day, at a lunch near to pick here, a cow docker, I couldn't have a to talk about the 25th, Sababu, Derikua, bad day. Sasa kitu wapo saa mbili za, sub, za mnini, za usiku, kuna vijana wali nipiki yanga simu, marafiki sasa wake. Sasa wakanza kuniuliza ma brae uko kwa nyumba. Brian's family narrating the shock that struck them when they learned that their son's identity card was recovered at the scene of crime, only for them to confirm their worst fear at the city mortuary. Watoto wa mepiwa risasi more than 40 each mtoto. On his part, Julius Mwangi, a cousin and a close friend to Brian, who is reportedly a scrap metal dealer, had indicated to his mother that he was headed to their rural home that fateful day. He never made it home. <laughs> The family is now seeking justice for their loved ones. Walisema walipata panga hapo dani. Nika nika sema ata kama ni panga ilipatikana uwe sifa kupiga mtu lisasi more than kumi ata lisasi ni ni moja inaiza uwa mtu. With two victims of the alleged gang yet to be identified, questions linger on how more than 40 bullets would be shot less than a kilometer away from the police station without a response from officers. An autopsy on the bodies is expected to be conducted Wednesday at the city mortuary. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.